Hey, any fash. I believe it's the 25th of May, 2020. And I just got an unction to pop on here and uh, let it be known that I still am alive. And I do pray that you're all well. I really do. I've been led to uh, be patient, for one, and to find some balance. Uh, i got a ton of things to share with you guys in, in videos and whatnot, but, you know, the world is becoming pretty well aware. It's become abundantly clear that the world is changing and not in a very pleasant and friendly way. You know, but they'll acquiesce because they think that this life is the end-all be-all. You know what I mean? They don't understand that there is an eternity beyond this temporary flight in the grand scheme of God's eternity. But if you don't know God, if you don't know the pathway to God through Jesus Christ, believing that He has done everything necessary to redeem us to the Father, and that's what you want, believe me. And there is no redemption without blood. And Jesus took it all on for all of us. All of our iniquities. So believe on Him. Trust in Him. Trust in the Word. And the counsel of the Holy Spirit will give you every single thing you'll ever need to know what to do to have the peace, the true peace of God through Jesus Christ, I don't know, you can't really describe. The things that are going on as far as the, you know, the virus and the vaccines and all this stuff, this is very public, very mainstream. So it's like, if the world isn't seeing what's upon them, I mean, my goodness. So I've just been, you know, really led to be patient. Camera ran out of space. People need to understand that this revelation of all the darkness in the world and all of the lies and the New World Order agenda that virtually the whole world is beginning to see, which is fully intentional. This is God revealing these things, but the devil will jump in there and co-opt everything and create the false light. The war between the sons of light and the sons of darkness. They're the same squares on the same Masonic satanic chessboard. The black and the white creating the false paradigm to draw you in to get you to follow man instead of following God and subsequently die in your sin. That's all the devil wants. He loves company. Seek the counsel of God. The word of God. Who can make war with the beast? It was given unto him to make war with the saints and to subdue them, to overcome them. We are to turn our attention to Jesus Christ alone. And his Holy Spirit will in fact guide you, protect you, give you the wherewithal to navigate this insanity. Man cannot fix man. They will search for every way to get to the kingdom except the straight way by Jesus Christ. These are the workings of Satan, lying wonders. This is, in fact, the spiritual war. And our sword is the truth, the word of God, Jesus Christ. And there's only one. Pick up that Bible, folks, because that's where you're going to find the truth. You cannot put your faith, trust, and hope in a piece of paper crafted by Masons. You understand? These are Luciferians who, who crafted the Constitution and the Bill of Rights very cunningly, giving the appearance of godliness, but clearly denying the power thereof. They crafted it to pave a legal path to fulfill the lust and desires of carnal man, the licentious liberty. Look up the word liberty in the Bible. The bottom line is, if you're not in Christ, if you're not seeking his counsel through this madness, you will be deceived. It truly, 
truly is that simple. No matter how wise we think we are, you understand? So just keep this in mind. These, these are things that you must understand. We even have the top-ranked constitutional lawyer in the United States, okay, Alan Dershowitz, proclaiming emphatically that you can legally be force vaccinated. So, you know, wrap your mind around that. And I'll just leave you with a few clips here as a reminder, if you will. Seek God through Jesus Christ. It's the only truth, the only way, and the only life. Peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Uh, let me put it very clearly. You have no constitutional right to endanger the public and spread a disease, even if you disagree. You have no right not to be vaccinated. You have no right not to wear a mask. You have no right to open up your business. Wait, if can I stop you? State, Did, yeah. No right state, not to be vaccinated? Meaning if they decide you have to be vaccinated, we have to be vaccinated? Absolutely. And if you refuse to be vaccinated, the state has the power to literally take you to a doctor's office and plunge a needle into your arm and plunge a needle into your arm and plunge a needle into your arm and plunge a needle into your arm. If the vaccine. Where is that in the Constitution? Prevent if the vaccination. But uh, that's what a democracy is about. Uh, that's what a democracy is about. And if the majority of the people agree, and if the majority of the people agree, and support that for public health measures, you have to be vaccinated. You have to be vaccinated. The Constitution doesn't give you the right to spread your illness to other people. Even when you're not sick, but they say you are based on Fauci and Gates and the Rockefellers and their scientism and sorcery. And uh, you can disagree. You can be a dissenter. You can leave the country. You can go into a bubble. But what you can't do is say, I don't disagree. I don't agree with Fauci. Therefore, I'm going to take the law into my own hands and decide to spread the disease. That's not a constitutional right. You're right. It's a God-given right. Do not submit to these demons, people. We're, we're mixing the fields of medicine and law, and the proof of something in law seems vastly different than the proof of something in medicine. A lot of the people who are advising us as to the future of vaccinations in this country are the very same people who have been kicked out of major countries for serious failures and injuries resulting from vaccines that they felt were going to be beneficial. I'm very troubled by the legality of what you're suggesting because it seems like we're very close to uh, a government mandate that we must all be vaccinated. Let me let me take you in another direction. Let me take you in another direction. Let me take you in another direction. I would like I would like to see a government mandate. If if a, if the safe vaccine is developed for uh, COVID-19, I hope it's mandated and I will defend it and will argue that in the Supreme Court of the United States against your views. Today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. They call me paranoid. We're going to find out along with the rest of the country. All U.S. states have now been placed under a federal disaster declaration in a record first for the country. President Trump likened the pandemic to the plague. Now we need to go and look in families to find those people who may be sick and remove them and isolate them. We're in a live exercise. We've got to be very strong, very, very smart. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. <laughs> Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 